start with Roja, we should think about his philosophy, try to keep it as simple as possible so that people without big experience uh, and, and background in blockchain can get started with uh, writing applications uh, on top of it using, for example, mobile libraries that we provide. overview of Iroha 2. It is written in Rust. As I said, all data is kept in memory, but you shouldn't worry, like, uh, <laughs> we do not write anything on disk and so your data is volatile because uh, the blocks are updated on the disk, so nothing is lost. Hyperledger Ursa, which allows us to um, use any cryptography algorithm that is supported by Ursa. And we also use multi-hashes for transactions. Turing completeness in smart contracts could be achieved either by using instructions or later by virtual machines. Here is the data model. We have domains and we have account addresses in this domain. Notice that it's really simple but also useful for the cases like banks. For example, we have uh, several banks in the system and each of them have their domain and they have their certain users that have certain permissions in that domain. We'll first review our Genesis file, then we generate some accounts and uh, spin up the network and start interact with it. For Genesis file, you can go to Iroha folder and example of it you can find here. So basically the Genesis contains the list of transactions that are executed in the very first block. Here, for example, we register new domain called Wonderland. Then we register a new account, Alice at Wonderland. Uh, we register some assets like Rose at Wonderland. Yeah, we also mint some of these assets and give it to Alice. Yeah, for example, in that case, we have 13 uh, roses minted. Actually, we're going to use this uh, Genesis for our demo. Next thing is um, generating new accounts. So, yeah, we go into the terminal. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, we can use the uh, command to generate blob account. And uh, here we can see that we generated public and private key. Actually, the first several bytes of a uh, public key, they contain information about which kind of cryptography was used to generate this key pair. So in that case, it is ED25519. And then we put uh, Bob's uh, key pair into uh, Bob JSON uh, file. Here we are. And then we'll be able to use it to sign transactions on uh, Bob's behalf.